So today, hopefully it's our last rainy day in Rotorua, so we're gonna spend it absorbing and relaxing in even more hot pools. Previously on day 289 part 1, it was another rainy day in Rotorua, so instead of going up the skyline, we went zorbing. What the hell is zorbing, you may ask? It's basically some gigantic hamster ball filled up with water and people and thrown down the hills. It's a ton of fun and a perfect rainy day activity in Rotorua. And now for the continuation of day 289 part 2. Kaite? Waikite? Uh, waikite? Waikite. Waikite. So Waikite Valley, it's uh, thermal hot pools. We got real cold at the Zorb after having to do a few Zorbs with cold water because as you saw guys, it was very steamy the first time we went together. So we had to do all the rest with cold water. So the video looked good. The Waikite Valley Thermal Springs is about a 25 minute drive out of the city center of Rotorua and it uses 100% geothermal water. There's no chemicals and it's not recycled into the pools. It's just 100% bliss. So Laura is getting changed right now and going to the pool. I am going on a quick eco train. Admittedly, Laura is feeling a little bit under the weather. So she's going to be relaxing in the hot pools where I'll take one for the team. Laura Arez knows where to find the right angle. I really hope that at the end of the day my pictures are going to be up to par because they're going to be featuring on backpackerguy.nz and usually it's Laura that gets all the pressure. This walk goes up the Tim Manaroa Springs. It's a really cool walk which only takes about 15 minutes and it's a super easy walk. There is boardwalk, handrail, you can't get lost, there is nothing hard to us about that walk. There is also a lot of signs along the way that tells us more facts about these springs. And in fact, this spring is actually the largest source of boiling water in New Zealand. There is plenty of viewpoints that gives us an inside look into this very weird looking landscape. The spring itself is actually really big and engulfs me and the camera with the steam almost instantly. While Laura is getting a head start on the relaxing by soaking herself in the pools already, I get to learn more about the stream that I am hiking nearby. Once the water bursts out of the center of the earth, it goes down the Otama Kokore streams all the way down to the thermal pool where we're going to be bathing today. Along the way, it leaves the trail of calcite formations, which are those terraces which are looking white and orange. It's a really cool, eerie looking place. Although I'm a little disappointed to not be joining Robin on the eco trail, I have to say that staying in these thermal pools and just relaxing is the perfect thing for me to do right now while I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I mean, after doing 289 days of over 300 activities in New Zealand so far, it's bound to get to one point where I feel a little bit iffy. Nevertheless, this is the perfect activity to do and I feel so revived and the mineral waters are making my muscles feel relaxed. It's just ideal. What's more, there's so many really awesome different spaces around this hot pools complex. There's six different pools and the temperatures of the pools range between 35 to 38 degrees Celsius. Two of our favorite pools here at the Waikiti Valley Thermal Pools is the ones overlooking Waikiti Valley itself and its huge forested floor and you can even see the steam from the spring bubbling into the air. The pools are surrounded by native trees and other native vegetation which really adds to that relaxing factor. After that we go spend some time in some little hot tubs overlooking the complex which go up to 38 degrees. That's super nice and toasty for the end of our stay here at the Waikiti Valley Thermal Pools. It's an awesome thing to do on a rainy day in Rotorua. So I jump straight into the hot pools, I waste no time, while Robin goes on an eco trail, so I take some time to myself to just relax in the hot pools, not really do much of anything rather than just uh, uh, bathe. 